Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick. A couple minute riff on IT security this week, live from RSA, uh, where today I'm talking about DevOps and securing DevOps uh, in a couple hours. So in San Fran, so the time will be a little shifted. I'll again be in a hotel, but thanks for joining. Uh, classic, classic marketing uh, case study, right? 1980s, fast food joints everywhere popping up. McDonald's rolled out the, the quarter pounder. And uh, A&W, right, the root beer people. Uh, did you ever have an A&W growing up? I had like one like it was way out in the boonies that you could get to, but I, they weren't like everywhere. Uh, and I was like, it was such a treat. You drive and drive and drive, you get an A&W. Uh, I think that's gone now, so who knows. But back in the 1980s, A&W was like, hey, we're coming after you, McDonald's. Hey, we're going to take down your quarter pounder. And what they did was they came up with this idea. Brilliant idea, right? Drum roll, please. Third pounder. And, uh, and it, it did well, it beat McDonald's in taste tests. Um, they thought they had a success in their hand. It was the same price, so more meat, same price, better taste, same price. They rolled it out, and no one really bought them. And after a while, they had to discontinue it. But before they discontinued it, they are like, well, why is no one buying this thing? And they did a case study, they looked at it, they tried to figure it out, uh, they talked to people, and uh, what it ended up being was, Americans are not that good at fractions. When they heard a third pounder, again and again, when they went out and talked to people and said, well, why aren't you buying this? They're like, well, why, why would we pay for less meat um, for the same price? When you can get a quarter pounder from McDonald's, right? Four and three from you. Uh, Americans suck at fractions. And it killed the whole, the whole burger, right? And they had to start over and start fresh. And it, you hear this case study, you hear this market study, and the, the natural thing to do is go, ah, Americans, or, ah, people in fractions. Why, why can't we put, get smarter people through the school systems? But you pause a minute. I mean, you, you hear the same thing when someone says, oh, well, you know, Americans only read at uh, sixth grade level. You know, newspapers are written for sixth grade level. And you're like, ah, oh, why? But if you put all that aside for just a moment and think about information security, we need to communicate in a way that makes sense, right? We need to communicate in a way that's clear and, and, and is understandable. And if something like a difference in a quarter pounder and a third pounder is gonna be confusing, if something like you know, uh, advanced language in a policy is gonna be confusing, we need to step aside from our ego, we need to step aside from being judgmental, we need to say, look, what is it we're trying to get done and how can we communicate this in the clearest, most concise manner possible? Uh, and I know people, I know people who take tools and they'll run them against their policies. And they'll say, hey, am I writing this at a sufficient language level? I know people who look at their programs and carefully craft that name so it's a marketable name and it makes sense to people. Uh, I know people do this, but I also know tons and tons of people, and I'm sure gonna run into multitudes in the conferences uh, with this week and uh, next, who are like, oh, they just don't get it, right? The users don't get it, it's the user's fault. People don't get it, people aren't smart enough, people aren't quick enough. You know what, people are brilliant, people have jobs to do, they have ways to think that are working for them, and what we need to do to be successful is communicate in a way that is quick, easy, and gets the point done. And that, I think, is gonna be a huge determining factor in how well security programs are performing within businesses. That's it, I'm off to RSA. Cheers.